So in today's video, I'm going to make it so that my router table sucks a little bit more just by adding this. Okay, so on my router table, I have a system set up here for vacuum and it works pretty good. Uh, I have a four inch hose that goes in the bottom here and sucks a lot of the chips and debris into underneath down to the router for most cuts. This fence here is hollowed out, has an opening here and it has a two inch hose attached to it that also sucks the chips in through here. So whenever I'm doing any edge or um, uh, cutting that involves the fence, it works really, really well. I mean, I get very little dust in the air. But if I ever use a straight bit or do anything like cutting grooves in the bottom of drawers for the bottom uh, piece, or uh, if I'm doing dovetails or things like that, where the fence is a little bit away, almost all the stuff comes shooting this direction. And it all comes back towards the back of the uh, table. So the idea is that uh, I was at Rockler today and uh, I purchased this and I even have my receipt here and I saved 375 because it's on sale. So what this is, is this is a dado dust chute and um, I'm going to try it out. I don't know how well this is going to work, but uh, you know, the pictures look good. It's made to mount on the back of your router table in this direction right here so that it collects the dust this way. Uh, I believe that this uh, root moves up and down, if I'm not mistaken, if I watch the video correctly. Let me loosen up a little bit. But these move up and down to help catch the dust and allow the piece to flow over it, to brush over it. So, uh, you know, I'm going to install it on this table and try it out and see how well this works. It comes with instructions and everything. And the picture that they show looks like it's working pretty good. So I will find out and let you know how well this keeps the dust out of my shop. So let's go ahead and install this on and give it a try. Okay, so it seems like relatively simple instruction. It has two screw holes right here, it has a couple screws for that. And it looks like this is just gonna mount directly where it's squared up with my bit. So that should be a relatively simple thing to do. Okay, so my first issue comes right away and that's where if I line this up even with my bit here so that it catches everything, uh, this is going to interfere with <laughs> this piece right here. So it makes it impossible to uh, hose connected onto that. So now I'm going to have to think of another way to do this. And I can't mount it this way because that's, that's the wrong way completely. Oh boy. Hmm. So that makes it difficult. All great ideas sometimes just don't work for you. Now, if I didn't have this, or if I had a shorter tube here, that would work. Um, although this has the piece coming out there, and this is also another dust right component that I've mounted a long time ago. So the only thing I could think of is getting an angle piece here. And that could be maybe some PVC. I don't know. Maybe I can attach some PVC to it to angle it off that direction. Now, I don't think it's a fault of the manufacturer. I mean, you know, they, they made it pretty direct and pretty easy. It just happens that that just happens to come right there, which is going to seem like it's going to be quite often because um, most of your vents that come out of your router table are going to be right at this direction. Now, I do have this coming off there, so... But even if I rotate that around, it's not going to make a difference. It's this length that's affecting it all. Let me get back to you, see if I can figure out an issue, see if I can figure out how to fix this. Okay, so I figured out a couple different solutions for this. I went online to see if I could find some two and a half inch elbows. And uh, the inside outside diameter, for some reason, even from the Rockler store, doesn't match up with um, this particular one here on fitting that so it's not gonna it's not gonna work for me so if this thing does work out 
I can lower this. I was looking inside and I could probably lower this by a couple inches uh, down some. So, and that probably give me better suction in there anyway, as stuff falls directly on the ground, it would pull it out. So I can do that if that works, but first I want to see if it works. Now, I found that uh, I just pulled off the hose here and I found the hose just slips right on over. And that with that hose there, I can actually fit this on and line this up with where, I, where it needs to be. So that actually will work for me for right now and trying this out. So all I gotta do is make sure I, ha I have enough room here where this is, uh, where my other piece is gonna slide on, so that all works. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and mount this on and test it out, see if it works. And if it does work, then I will make the modifications here to drop this down and to keep this on the table if it's, if it's worth that effort. If it's not, I'll just take it back because it won't, be, uh, won't work for me at all. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Difficult of an angle, but we'll get it. All right, tight fit no matter what I do on this thing, that's for sure. Put this on first. So what I had to do was loosen it up and put this on first because that is a really, really tight fit. And we'll adjust it accordingly. So at least it's in place now so I can uh, try it out. And like I said, if this all works, I'm just gonna lower this down. Uh, I'm sure that this probably fits most other router tables. I have a rather thick table here. And then, um, you know, just this piece coming out is sitting kind of high, so it might be better off being lower anyway, um, vacuum-wise, you know, and gathering up everything. Let's check out and see how it all works now. That's the important thing. All right, so a couple of features this has. This has a blast gate in it, which is nice, although I don't know how much I'd use this because basically I'm just gonna make it so that this connects off here and goes up to my fence hose right up here. I don't know how much you can see that. So the other feature is this right here, uh, this screw, uh, adjust or allows you to adjust the brushes up and down to match the level of your bed here. So I'm thinking you want to put these brushes so that they are right at the bottom of the board here. And these extend a little bit more so they can catch whatever's coming across there. So uh, we'll see how well that works. Tighten this down and it looks like I'm ready to go. I don't need to make too big of a cut for the test one. so. Well, it seemed to me that a lot of it came back and went into this section here, but there was some that got funneled out that way. Um, definitely clean. There was hardly anything in the air. So that's kind of nice. So let's see what it does when I put on a different setup. Okay, so this is my typical setup for doing box joints or dovetails with the Incra fence. So let's try that and see how well the vacuum works on this set up. Actually not too bad. I have a little bit of have a little bit of wood shavings there. But uh, you know the dust, none of the dust came up in the air, which is the problem I had before. Okay, so overall I gotta say that this uh, this is an improvement. I mean it seems like there's a lot less dust coming up at me. Maybe I'll be able to see it in the video, you know, how much it's really pulling in. Once I look in the video from above, I can't really see much of anything happening, but it's obvious that there's less dust in the air and uh, less dust falling down and everything uh, as compared to before. So this works quite well. Once you get past a certain point here where this fence gets blocked, there's no suction at all going into there. So uh, I think that um, this might be a good addition. I might end up having to make all the adjustments back that I need to make and get that set up so that 
it works well. But um, I think it might be something I'm going to keep because I'm going to be doing a lot of box joints here, which you're going to see in a little bit. I actually have another tool I'm going to review uh, for making the box joints. I can't make the box joints on this, and I may end up doing that, but I want to try out this other uh, jig that I got from Rockler that's also on sale, which is I always buy stuff on sale. And um, see if that works better than what I have here. Okay, so if you're thinking about getting one of these Rockler Dado dust chutes, uh, I, th I think it's um, a good investment. I think it does help clear up the dust. If you're like me, you don't want any dust in the air at all. Uh, I think it works really well. On this table here, I can tell that it's much closer than what mine is, but it's still working relatively good. So this is my first trial. I will be using it a lot when I do some a whole bunch of uh, box joints I'm going to start cutting right now. And um, I think that uh, I'll give it a good workout and would run for its money. Now I got it on sale. I think it's worth the uh, normal price, $24.99. I pay $21.24 for it. So I think that even the normal price is worthwhile to uh, add on. And it's made, it seems like it's made pretty good so that it'll last some time. So if you like it, give it a try, see what you think. But right now I'm gonna get ready to do some box joints and uh, hopefully not get much dust in my face while I'm doing it. If you enjoy this, please do subscribe. Please leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what I did right or wrong in this video. I'm always, uh, I always answer all of the comments that are posted, so don't be afraid to ask any questions. I'm more than uh, happy to answer if I can. Thanks for watching.